Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to record a screen video using Robo Framework. So in this video, we'll quickly demonstrate a small program to record video using Robo Framework, Selenium and Python. Uh, then we'll show the log file uh, with the recording. And then we'll discuss the parameters of uh, the keyword that we are going to use to record the video. Let's go to our IDE. So friends, I have kept this program ready. I'll up, I'll also upload this program on Git if you need it. Uh, it's very simple. Just make sure you import the screen cap library before you start coding. And then uh, this is the uh, this is the normal flow. You can have any flow here. Okay. And at the start of the flow, you'll have to write start video recording keyword with these parameters. Uh, it will start the recording and then at the end or in tear down you'll have to stop video recording okay and now we'll see what are these parameters uh, alias alias can be some uh, name to the recording say for example you have multiple recordings uh, in your in your entire test suite uh, so this will help you to identify your particular recording and the same name can be used here to stop that recording or pause that recording okay and name uh, here you'll have to speci uh, specify the name of the file recording file that will be generated fps uh, frames per second uh, so uh, this factor basically will decide the size of your video uh, the memory size it will consume so you'll have to play with this factor if you want to uh, uh, optimally use memory of your computer then size percentage uh, this like this is like a uh, uh, Xerox reduction it will uh, it will help you to reduce the size of your video then uh, embed true uh, if you keep it true your video will be embedded in the logs if you keep it false your video will not show in logs okay embed width if it is true and uh, then you have to you have to specify this embed width uh, if it is 100 pixel uh, this this will decide the width of uh, the video in logs and then monitor uh, uh, which monitor you want to capture one two or all uh, this you know, parameter will decide that all right let's quickly run this program and let's see how uh, our robot captures the video a program is started uh, it's a simple program it will just open google and type hello google okay and now the logs are generated let's open it okay uh, okay so the, this is the log uh, and this is the recording that is generated. Okay, this is the latest one. Let's open that See the recording is working fine And let's see the log now This is a very cute log you can see here Okay, and Here is your recording, which you can play from here as well. Okay, friends, let's go back to our PPT. Start video recording keyword has some parameters. Let's see what what uh, every parameter means. Alias, it helps to identify your recording if you have multiple recordings uh, simultaneously going on uh, in your test suite. Name. Uh, it's the name of the video recording file that will be generated fps it will specify the frame rate and this is important factor if you want to use your memory optimally size percentage it is used to reduce the size of the screen recordings embed if you want to use the uh, if you want to embed your recording in log or not so send true or false if true it will embed the video in log 
embed width specify the width of the video that will show up in logs monitor uh, so if you have multiple monitor uh, give the index of monitor uh, and it will record that particular monitor all right then uh, the stop recording we uh, stop video recording this keyword will stop the recording and where you can pass the alias so for example while starting the video you have passed alias as recording one or recording to recording three there are multiple recordings going on and you can pass alias here while stopping the video uh, and it will stop that particular video and if you do not pass any uh, alias it will just stop the uh, recently started video recording okay and stop all video uh, recording this is the keyword which can be used to stop all the recordings you have started in your automation suite so friends in this video we have seen how to record a video using robo python and selenium command to install screen cap library is mentioned in the description make sure you install the library first otherwise it will not work and the program that i have shown in this video will be uploaded in git and the link will be mentioned in the description friends like this video because that will inspire us to make some more videos and comment and let me know if that if this video helped you in your automation suite and subscribe to this channel that will help us grow on youtube thank you friends have a nice time bye bye